Question six. This chart shows the number of different types of big cat in the zoos. Oh, big cats. So there are 20 big cats in the zoo together. And what do we have? We got, che we got cheetahs, tigers, jaguars, and lions. So just looking this head on, we can see that in the pie chart, cheetah seems to represent one quarter because you can see it's a right angle and this looks like a perfect quarter. Whereas tiger represents the majority, jaguar is less than a quarter and lion is also less than a quarter. We don't know how much, maybe a fifth. Who knows so here are some statements about the chart take the statements that are true so looking over here it says there are more cheetahs than jaguars well let's see yep i'll guess so because one quarter of cheetahs is five and to be honest this has a bigger share than that so yep i give i give that a tick the total number of lions and tigers is 10. so how do we know that so tigers plus lion well if you want to get 10 the pie chart so it should be a line kind straight through the middle so if, if the line was a bit like this, then these two combined will make 10. But actually there is a bit more, maybe 11 or 12. So this is false. One quarter of the big cats are cheetahs. Yep, we saw that. There are more than five jaguars. Mm, no, the reason why is because five represents one quarter of 20. So if you're at one quarter of 20, you should get five. And that's how many cheetahs there are. So jaguars looks like a bit less. My money is on four probably. And Tiger, well, we're not too sure. So we can say no. That's it, guys. That's literally all you do. So let's move on to seven. Okay, so a farmer's packing eggs. Each box holds six eggs. Okay. Now the farmer has 980 eggs to pack. So that's quite a bit. How many boxes can the farmer fill using 980 eggs? So if one box has six eggs, how many boxes can you fill? Well, we just do six into 980. Now you could do this short, wise, short division wise along. I'm just gonna do short because it's faster. So the first things first, how many six is going to nine? Well, it fits in once and has a remainder of three. Now, how many sixes fit into 38? Well, we know that six times six is 36. So it goes in six times remainder two. And finally, how many six is going to 20? Well, we also know here that we have uh, let's see, um, three sixes make 18, so that's three, but we also got a remainder two. So actually, over here we can see that how many boxes can a farmer fill using 980 eggs? Well, out of the full boxes, he can fit 163 um, boxes full of six eggs. But then, how many eggs will be left over? Well, we have a remainder of two. Now, this question could be asked both ways. They could tell you how many boxes do you need and not necessarily full boxes if the question was just regular boxes you realize that you need 163 boxes plus an extra box to put the two eggs so it would have been 164 boxes that's only if there was no uh, full boxes required anyway that's it so let's move on to eight okay so jack has 400 pound he spends 35 percent of his money on the new bike so 35% first, let's just do the maths of 400. A trick to this is to always work out 10%. We know 10% of 400, you just divide it by 10, is 40. And then you can see that you need another 25%. And 25%, guys, you need to recognize is a quarter. So a quarter of 400 is um, 100. And then to make 35%, you just add them up. So you get 40 plus 100, that's 140. So that means Jack spends 140 quid. Not bad, not bad for a bike. Now, nine, okay? So the Angel of the North is the largest statue in England. So I've never actually personally seen this guys, but I heard this, it looks pretty nice. It is 20 meters tall and 54 meters wide. Okay, so that's the dimensions. Now Ali makes the scale of the Angel of the North. Her model is 40 centimeters tall. Now, scale is something you write on paper. So we say that she did on a paper that for the height of 40 centimeters, that seems to be kind of equal to 20 meters in real life. So you can kind of see that for every meter is doubled. Okay, so we can say that for every one meter, if we divide by 20, it's like two centimeters in real life. Uh, two centimeters on paper, it's like one meter in real life. So how wide is a model? according to uh, paper so since we know it's 54 meters in real life you can just see if you times this by 54 2 times 54 give us 
108 centimeters. So on a paper, that's how it looks. 108 centimeters on paper and 54 meters in real life. Okay, next. <clears throat> so number 10. So Layla draws a square on this coordinate grid. Okay, square. Three of the vertices are marked. What are the coordinates of the missing vertex? Now, square, of course, have equal lengths. Okay, so the problem here is I'm using... Uh, I'm, in this question, you must always use a ruler, guys. Yeah? So make sure you get your fully equipped with ruler on the exam day. I'm just going to go ahead and sketch it to how it should be anyway. But to have a look carefully, this is at 5, 1, and this is at... Uh, five. This is at 1, 5, and 5, 1. So all you do is literally just try and get a ruler and just carefully... Make sure you cross the, the lines over here. So it's, it's also good to label it as well, the coordinates. It helps a lot. Okay, and, and if you move from here to here, you're going to go through the same width. So it looks to me that they're going four boxes down. So let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's always four down and four across. So it's going to be the same here. It's going to go four down and four across. Meaning, if it's going to be on the other side, if we look carefully, we can see that's four cross, so it's going to be four, an additional four to the left. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this has this must be the last vertex, vertex, and then you just connect it across. And there you go, perfect square, ish. <laughs> but yeah, guys, make sure you do it with a ruler. Yeah, don't never never do it freehand because you could actually get penalized and lose a mark. Anyway, let's move on to the next bit. So yeah, so what is the coordinates of the vertex? So we can see it's, it's minus three across, so it's three to the left and one up. So minus three and one. Let's put it down. 